Yo, what's up guys, the Insane Game Freak here, here to bring you Pokemon Best Wishes episode 41 and the the Detective Time Returns Um I will say in terms of filler, these are still enjoyable and I still like the whole dense little side stories, even though it's kinda obvious at this point the anime has just relegated him to unimportant character status. Um, which I guess is a lot better than Brock's progression because Brock was irrelevant uh, pretty much from the get-go. <laughs> so the fact that Dent at least made it all the way up until about, I think the end arc is, is when I argue he started, he was he was mainly, he became irrelevant. Uh, not saying he doesn't have the potential to become relevant again, but it, it's, it's highly, I highly doubt he's going to become relevant again. Um... At least not in terms of, because, like, even, I mean, granted, they have a mock tournament in here, which kind of annoyed me, because if you want to argue, the one thing about Gen 5 people probably hate is the fact that they tournament the shit out of you to death, which, in a sense, you could call a cop-out for not actually having arcs, but at the same time, at least tournaments are enjoyable to watch versus just, just bullshit-ass arcs. Um, but the whole premise of this episode is, is exactly as it says. It's the case of the missing... Liep Liper's eyes. I like. I forget how to pronounce the uh, Perloin's evolution. I think it's like Liper. The missing Liper eye. You know, is a, is a jewelry mystery case uh, that was overall interesting, if nothing else. Um, I will admit the whole reveal of who actually stole the diamond caught me a little off guard because I expected it to be the shadow figure. But I expected them to blame Mr. Shoal, I believe is his name. And then, like, progressively, like, wait a minute. What about this guy? And, you know, do that. But, no, they just went the other route, which is still stereotypical in its own right, which is, um, the, the guy Ash was fighting in the last round, uh, was the bad guy. And they kind of went through the whole explanation, which was actually a pretty interesting explanation. And it does show off the skills as a, as a connoisseur because he knew that, the stain on the floor wasn't just from like water or some shit. It was from like melted ice from a Pokemon, which you wouldn't inherently know unless you're a connoisseur in that kind of shit. So I give him points for that. Um, also, I don't think have we, will we ever find out what Dent's issue with Perloin is? I don't remember if they like the Meowth and Perloin episode and Meowth Perloin Oshawott episode I don't remember if they ever mentioned what dense issue with Perloin is which it probably they probably didn't I kind of hope they do dedicate an episode to that in terms of Phil like if that's an episode in Phil you're gonna show I would love to see it granted the fact that you brought it up here but didn't tell us what it was makes me feel like we're never gonna actually get to see it or it's gonna be an ongoing gag that he'll be have his issues with Perloin which I thought was interesting for Dent anyway because Dent isn't the type of character to have that many issues. Granted, it is probably, I will say it's pretty funny to watch him squirm and freak out every time Perloin's around him because it's something you're not used to seeing. At least from Dent, I'm not used to seeing that. I mean, I mean, I think people have already taken that scene from the Haunted House episode where he, like, where they're all, like, they're following the room and then, like, the, the damn statue leans over and you see the scene of Dent screaming. And it's like, ah! And, you, and it's funny because the animation's so wonky that he looks like like a stick figure, like, ah! Oh, it was funny. <laughs> so, it, it, it wasn't, it was fine. The episode was fine. I mean, once again, it's just filler, but I will say it was more entertaining than the last episode just because it was something different. I don't remember what the next episode is going to be. But we'll see when we get there. But uh, that's really all I have to say for this episode. It was okay. Nothing really too amazing. And nothing's wrong with with Connoisseur, Connoisseur Detective Dent. I have no problems with him. Uh, I just hope he becomes relevant again. But then again, we're in like bullshit filler. And I think Dent is handled the worst probably in filler. Because they don't have him do anything. Really, this is what he depends on in filler is to give him these types of episodes where his connoisseur mode kind of switches around and shit. I mean, when's the last time he's actually done like a full-on tasting of a Pokemon in their trainer? He hasn't done it in a while. I don't know why. Mm. Anyways, uh, this has been the Insane Game Freak. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. 
uh, likes the game to win, get to catch them all Pokemon, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.